to ask for one so in this video we're going to see um how uh, how much money am i making with my games and apps um and for for both android and ios from admob so i have integrated admob into my games and apps so how much am i making and how much clicks am i getting uh, each month and uh, are, are we actually uh, progressing or is it actually decreasing or what's happening so i'm going to talk about it so first thing is um developing apps and games so i'm going to do a separate video on developing apps and developing games as such what all the things that is needed and how would actually it been done so and how much cost generally it takes to make an average app um so i'm going to do a separate video on that so for this one uh, i'll quickly walk you through on the list of apps and games that we have done so we got two accounts here so one is the android account uh, android um, which is the google play store and another one is for the app store apple app store so with the google um so we approximately have around 130 Uh, if i'm not wrong 120 to 130 apps and games so these ones um it's all under um, our um, brand name which is virtutainment under google so the kind of apps that we have done apps and games that we have done or um, games um let's say like casual games some uh, sort of like little strategy games and there is some sort of a music apps voice recorder apps and um, zombie games there is some quite a few zombie games in there and a uh, lot of video editors and image editors and uh, cash converters and cash calculators and uh, some mathematics and science apps and some of the shooting games and uh, some of the famous uh, uh, games that's that's been reskinned as well like say uh, bubble crush and a lot of these ones and uh, there is also multiplayer ones this controversy is actually a multiplayer and uh, this actually is sort of like a 2d game but it's got nice little graphics in there and this is a 3d game similar to game and this is an idle game so if you look at it uh, generally it is actually best to actually keep the apps and uh, games in a separate store account uh, but the problem is um, so when you actually uh, with uh, with android you should be fine you can create multiple accounts and you can keep them segregated and um, with apple um you need to have um you need to choose two options one is actually an individual developer or as an enterprise so when you go as a dev as an uh, as an individual developer it will be published against your name so not on your company name or a brand name or anything like that so whereas when you actually publish as an enterprise account you need to be a legal entity and they actually do the dance verification as well so when you are actually um, a legal entity you need to have the company registered and then you you know it's not just a joke when you register a company you know you need to do proper tax submissions and all that sort of stuff which adds to the expense so even though we have multiple brand names um we are not able to create multiple accounts so with apple if you have one legal company you can only create one enterprise account so um uh, with google you can have multiple um so yeah so that's that's the bottleneck for us that's the reason we kept the apps and games together but generally if you keep the apps and games separately and then if you um if you keep them separately bundled you 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 can actually get much better uh, exposure because people installing some of the apps uh, they will come back to you to see if you have similar apps and which will work fine so the same thing goes for the games as well people who generally play a lot of games and if they try and come to my store and they have to scroll quite a bit actually to get to the games sometimes so they might actually not be interested in going through some of the games that we have done latest uh, latest ones that we have done so that is one of the problems guys so but i am i am in plans actually to segregate this create separate stores move the apps and games in separate stores and all that sort of stuff that will going to have that is going to happen at some point but it's going to take a while okay so now all of our games are done in unity so it's all unity 2d and 3d all of our games and with apps all almost all our apps are actually native apps we don't really use cross platform so i'm not against cross platform but it's just it gives me a bad taste whenever i actually um, work on any of the cross platforms so in most cases it's just the limitation of the technology guys so it's just if you think about it um so the customer doesn't really understand whether this is a cross platform or a native customer doesn't really care or understand and um, so when you actually choose cross platform and then when you when you come up with some sort of a performance issue or some sort of a limitations or even the quality of the apps and the everything anything that you look at it uh, of course it's not going to be exactly same as native no matter how people hard people argue they're not going to be as same as the native so hands down native is the best so <laughs> Uh, cross platform will never be better than native 
so native will always be better i guess because it's been like six seven years since we have cross platform and some of the cross platforms such as such as absolutron and uh, uh, xamarin and they are like uh, hybrid apps they're not even full cross platform they're sort of like hybrid even those ones they don't really come close to uh, the native apps so to my suggestion is and also it adds a lot of complexity and number of people who use uh, who develop cross platforms it's hard to get resources to work on it um, so it adds a whole bunch of these uh, complexities as well. So for us, native works fine and uh, people claim that it's actually cost effective to work on hybrids and uh, cross platforms, but it actually vice versa. So it's actually cost more to actually do something on cross platform because it takes more time generally. Um, so now uh, all our apps are native. So with the Android side, it's all Java and Kotlin. And for the games, it's all native for both Android and iOS. And for iOS, it's all Swift. So I don't think so. we have any apps that we made it with uh, Objective-C, it's all Swift. And uh, so that's actually the stack. And uh, most of our apps, um, they actually um, don't have APIs or any logins or anything like that, but some of them do have. <coughs> for that, we have a login server uh, where we store, uh, securely store user data rather than storing in some third party. And um, yeah, so plenty of apps guys, so you can actually go through some of them. So literally we built for every category, every genre, uh, even kids and a lot of these things we have done. And um, so we planning to make at least 500 apps and games uh, by end of this year. So that is the target that we planning to set it up. And next is if you go to your, uh, go to our iStore account, um, Apple account. So we have done a lot of apps and games, which is actually sort of uh, similar to uh, what we have at Android, but it's going to be a uh, little less compared to Android as well. Um, so most of our um, apps that's published both on Android and iOS, I would say like um, iOS generally gives you a better returns in terms of revenue so compared to uh, Android. So let's say if you got uh, X amount of money and then uh, if you're going to split it between Android and iOS, my suggestion would be is just put it all of them in iOS and then let's say instead of building 10 android and 10 ios you can build 20 ios or 15 ios so even though ios development is going to be expensive it's just because for ios you cannot develop in any windows machine so you need to have a macbook you need to have an iphone or an ipad uh, to develop for specific platforms and it's actually very expensive if you look at it that put together you're looking at at least uh, 1.2 lakhs indian rupees so that is expensive and um, yeah, so that's that's basically on uh, all of these things. And uh, once you've done the app, list of things that you need to do. So first thing is uh, writing a proper description for your app. So if you look at most of our apps, um, so we would have written some detailed description about what this game is and uh, what all the features it has and everything that we can put it together. And um, so we would have written something nice. And also another thing is we do, um, we have not done ASO in the beginning because of budget constraints and we didn't get good resources and stuff. So now we have done um, app store optimization, which is very important guys. If you're publishing any apps or games, um, it is the most important thing. You need to actually have, have app store optimization done. So app store optimization, I would say uh, three things. So one is actually, um, I actually put in a separate video in there as well. So one is um, the title optimization, another one is the description and then the keywords. And finally, there is translations. Remember with both your Apple and, um, and Google accounts, all your apps and um, all your apps, this description that you're looking at it, you can actually uh, write it for at least 40, 30 languages. And um, so that means, let's say anyone who is who's having a phone, and who is actually uh, sort of like a Chinese, German or Japanese or any of these things. And they might actually set the phone's language to that particular language. So that means their keyboard will not be English. So when they actually go to Play Store to type it, they're not going to search for knife game. So it will be, let's say, a uh, different name in their language and they're going to use that word. So if you actually have the translations done, so the chances of your app getting picked up is much higher compared to uh, other apps because most of the apps, they don't actually do um, translations. That's something they don't really do it or because it's just because it's a little expensive. And that is one thing you have to do it. And then the store images, make sure that the store images are clear and people are able to see what this app looks like and what's gonna do. So you have to give them some, some of the apps and games, they just put a couple of screens as a minimum requirement and they don't really bother to put it. But as for a user from perspective, um, they're not gonna get what this app is gonna do. So you have to make sure that you put in proper keywords in there. And uh, so next thing is a promo video. So some of our apps and games uh, will have promo videos 
and um, so this actually um, increases the chances of someone installing the game so um, I'll show you an um, I show you a game where uh, we have um, sort of like a, a promo video I think uh, this one has so this is actually a promo video basically what you do is um, you should have some sort of a social media accounts in place as well let's say Facebook pages and LinkedIn and uh, all of these ones so um, once you get this video uh, you have to post it in your app store separately and then uh, and then on your YouTube and then put the YouTube links into your app and same with your LinkedIn and everything so you should share it and put all the links in there so that is um, the promo videos and after that once you put the apps in there so you need to do some offline promotion as well um, so some of the things like SEO create a couple of landing pages about the app and post some YouTube videos on the gameplay we gameplay for the apps and games uh, or for apps like say what this app is about and things like that so you need to do some legwork to to make people see this app so no one is going to come and find it so that is that's the main thing and once you have done all that then all you have to do is just do the seo every month and just do some promotions and um and then boost up the rankings and ratings for your apps and that will that will come up and anytime you find any bugs or crashes on the app make sure that you go back and fix it and give an update so the better you actually do that and more people is going to download it and they're going to leave some happy reviews so which is what very important okay so now uh, we'll conclude with this one so we'll do another video and then it's a continuation of this part and um, in that one we will actually uh, see how much is my earnings on ad mob all right see you guys